Louisiana crawfish on here. A little pico de gallo. Okay. Got to put a little love on it. So basically for the folks at home, you're just sauteing some crawfish tails with pico, adding a little seasoning and some butter of course, and just letting it cook just for a little while until the crawfish are done. You know it doesn't take long. Then he puts it right over their creamy queso. You can use whatever kind you like at home and just finish it off with a little green onions, a little paprika. You know how that goes, all the nice toppings, and it is good stuff. For recipes like this, check out our website. Now in front of us, we have the, the queso with the crawfish. Now what is it called? We call it queso boudreau. Okay. Kind of our own little twist on uh, queso blanco, you know, your traditional Mexican cheese. Gotcha. Now you, you mix it with several different things. You have one that you can do with the regular ground meat, mm -hmm. right? And then you have this one with the crawfish. Do you have any others? I think uh, shrimp as well. Shrimp as yeah, well. Golf okay. Shrimp. Now you, tell me how you make this. What we do, we take uh, queso boudreau mm -hmm. and uh, have that ready. Mm -hmm. We also take um, Louisiana crawfish and pico de gallo, put that on the grill with a butter sauce, saute that for a little while, and just pour it on top. There you go. Doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> crawfish, butter, pico, and really good creamy cheese. Fat free too, by the way. Yeah, ain't a calorie <laughs> in that. Oh, not absolutely not. Now, these are all available year round, Correct. right? Yeah. Okay, we're not showing anything that's gonna be off menu or anything like that. Everything's on the menu, but we also have like traditional Cajun stuff. We have traditional Mexican stuff. We have uh -huh. a, the overlapping fusion. Right, you don't have to have it fused every time. Like if the kids want a regular taco, they can get a regular taco. Correct. You've got the burritos and things like that. Yes. Okay, and then if I came in and just had a craving for etouffee, I could just get the etouffee Correct. if I wanted to. We, we, we also have uh, you know, seafood platters and yeah. you know, stuff like that. All that good stuff and lots of appetizers too. I think Sean's favorite appetizer is the Gator Bites. And that's a really simple, straightforward, just a little like popcorn mm -hmm. gator. Yeah. Yes. Really good stuff. 